Hey YouTube, Azaz Mac here today, and I had a couple people asking me how I changed my Finder icon in previous videos. So I wanted to just go ahead and make another video on that, changing the Finder window. Um, so the way I did this, it's really simple, you just have to know how to do it. So here it is. Go ahead and open your Finder window, just like this, open my Macintosh HD. Click on System, Library scroll down there's a folder with an X on it called core services double click on core services uh, you get this open go ahead and find the application named doc.app here it is do not double click on it go ahead and right click on it and do show package contents click on contents click on resources by the way all of that's gonna be down in the description so you, you don't have to memorize it uh, so yeah, I'll put that down in the description. And here we go. It opens this up. And this is all of the buttons that you find in your Finder window and on your dock. Your dock icons. So if you scroll down, you're going to see lots of things that you've probably seen before. And then you'll come across your Finder. So here we have it. Finder.png Finder at 2x.png so you're probably wondering why there are two finders. I've actually got three, but ignore that. I don't actually know why that's here. Anyway, make sure any file you do download isn't a PNG because that is the file that the operating system recognizes. The first one is going to be a half size smaller than the other one, or maybe normal, and this one's double. As you can see, it's at two times. That's because the dock can be small or big, so it uses two different file sizes. And changing the dock icon is really easy. All you have to do is replace these two images with the new image you have. So the website that I like to use to find my images if I'm not creating my own in something like Photoshop is called iconspedia.com. Links down below if you want to check that out. Uh, it's really easy. All you, have to, all you have to do is search what you want. So I'm just going to search Finder because that's the icon I'm changing and just quickly look at what I want for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna go ahead and pick how about this this blue and gray one I think that'll look nice go ahead and click on it and so as you can see here it's got 128 by 128 pixels and 64 by 64 so here's the normal size and here's your double size so I want to go ahead and download both of those downloaded one and opened it up and let's download the other one. Open that one up. All right. So those both went into my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. And it even titled them neat for me so I don't get confused. All right. Let me go ahead and close these for you. And uh I I'll do this uh whole tutorial live just so there's no confusion or confusion, sorry. So this is going to be Finder uh no caps and this is going to be finder at 2x and as you notice these are both PNGs let's make sure those are both the same yeah no caps here make it like that just for ease of use and I'm gonna go ahead and throw those right in there you're gonna to have to authenticate those and I'm gonna replace those you could I could have hit replace both. I didn't think about it. Enter in that password and it will change. All right. So I went ahead and put those in, but this doesn't change as you see, as you can see here. And uh, at first I was like, oh, how do I get that to change? I probably have to restart my dock, and I could not figure out how to uh, restart my dock there's a great way to do it in terminal if I go ahead and open up terminal and the way I found this was all I had to do was google it how to uh, restart dock and there's a little pro well I guess technically it is a program and what it is is it's a kill so it's kill all kill dock I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that I'll link to those websites below. It's actually a really interesting article if you want to read it. And uh, as I said, it's kill all, 
kill dock. It's going to restart the dock, and there we go. My icon has been changed. Anyway, I hope this has answered your guys' questions. It's probably not as easy as you might like it to be, but seriously, if you try this once, it, it's so easy. It's really not hard to do. Um, in this, uh, this video, I wanted to just do a little, like, recommendation. And my recommendation for this video is to have any of my viewers just, if, if they're thinking about purchasing something electronic or any media, I recommend you go to, uh, and you order it on Best Buy, or you buy it from Best Buy in stores. So, for me, this week I'm going to be buying a DVD. I'm probably going to spend like 10 bucks on a DVD, $7.99, I don't know. But I'm just going to buy it from Best Buy. I'm not like sponsored by Best Buy or anything. I just really like Best Buy, and I like the fact that I can get instant gratification to go stuff and to go get stuff and Best Buy is kinda losing business so I just recommend you guys go on Best Buy go into stores buy an open box item it, it doesn't even matter just buy anything I really appreciate you guys leaving me comments I'm getting pretty good feedback you guys wanted this video so I made it for you I hope it answered any questions and if you have any other questions just feel free to ask write them on my Facebook uh, or my uh, YouTube page anyway guys Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you next.